from Andrew. Um, it's a question we've asked you a lot about, which is the transition from club coach to national team coach and mm -hmm. um, working with players that you don't see every day in training. And I think from a tactical standpoint, working with players who are coming from having different coaches that have different approaches from you, different ideas about how to play um, and how do you maybe deprogram that once you get a hold of them and, and make sure that they're, they're thinking through the U.S. vision? Yeah, it, it's tricky. Um, you know, I, I watch some, you know, some wingers that, that, you know, play with us sometimes and they're never running behind the back line. And we know it's really crucial for us to have wingers running behind the back line. So then I'm watching their game and starting to think, oh, oh, you know, these are things I need to continue to talk to the player about. And they're not asked to do that in, their, in the way they play for their club team. But, you know, we know that's going to be vitally important for us. Um, but the, the main thing that we try to do, Paul, is really play to the player's strength and put them in position to succeed. So, you know, we've, I've never played a 4-3-3 before. I never defended in a 4-3-3. And we're doing it now with the national team because it's the, it's, it plays to the strengths of the players. And I think for us to be successful, we're going to have to take advantage of our strengths. All right, here's, my, here's one from another Paul, Paul Furlow, um, referencing Sam Walker's book, Captain's Class, uh, a read I, I just went through a few months, months ago. I was a little bit behind on that one. Um, Obviously, that whole book identifies that you know, on these incredibly, you know, successful teams, um, the most important factor is the captain, and, and that these captains aren't usually or necessarily the best player on the team. Typically, they are um, the veterans, the grinders. Um, how do you value captains on your team? You talked about trying to identify one and having a leadership council, and how important do you see them in your team? I think it's important. You know, I really enjoyed that book and I've had conversations with Sam about it and, and you know, picked his brain on, on digging a little deeper into it, asking him about, you know, is this generation capable of having someone like that? You know, th this generation seems to be, um, you know, not comfortable with one person taking the lead, one person standing out. So we've had some, some good conversations about that. But um, I think it's important. You know, what I really like the most about that is the captain challenging the coaches. I don't know if you guys remember that part about it, but I think that's great because I don't want a captain, you know, I, I don't want a captain that's going to say yes to everything that, that we do. I want the captain pushing back and challenging and saying, hey, did you think about this coach? Because it shows me that they're engaged as much as we are if they're questioning. And, um, but, you know, again, when we have such a young group of players, it, you know, it's not always common to have young young leaders so for us it's imperative that we develop leaders and we have great qualities um, of our players and and they have they have the ability to to improve and develop and that's what we're doing